Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel. In this episode we're going to be solving a Physics 7c practice problem on the topic of wave interference. As usual, if you're finding this content helpful, please make sure to leave a like, it really helps our channel. Okay, so this is the problem that we're going to be solving today. So you are lost in the middle of the desert. There are two radio towers uh, 8 kilometers apart, both transmitting radio waves of frequency uh, 3.75 times 10 to the 4 hertz. Waves from tower B are pi uh, halves ahead of waves from tower A as marked in the picture below. The radio signals are interfering with your GPS, not allowing you to find your way out. So first question that we're going to solve is calculate and mark on the picture all the possible locations on a straight line between the two towers where there is no signal from the two radio towers. Show all of your work. All right, so as you can see, I have, uh, you know, my little picture over here. So we have um, A and B, uh, left and right over here. We have a frequency over here that we're going to have to work with. And we have basically this, you know, all of these positions in which we can be at. We can be either at whole numbers or like maybe half numbers. I don't know. I haven't done this problem. So let's just get started the usual way that usually works for me. So I have a little face diagram over here. I do like using them. I think they're really useful even though they're not unnecessary, but I don't know, I do like them. So the first thing that I usually do is take the frequency and find myself a lambda. So let's see. So lambda is uh, velocity divided by frequency. These are radio um, waves, which means that we are going to use the speed of light. So 3 times 10 to the 8, and then divide by frequency. So 3.75 times 10 to the 4th. So let's just see what that gives us. Uh, 3 times 10 to the 8 divide by 3.75 times then to the four eight thousand so eight thousand in this case you know since all of these are kilometers um i think that i'm just gonna go ahead and use kilometers it just feels easier so long as you know this uh, metric and this metric agree because you're gonna divide them like you're gonna divide x and lambda if this one's in kilometers, then this one needs to be in kilometers. If this one's meters, then this one needs to be meters. And then they are just going to cancel out. So because I have kilometers over here, I think that I'm just going to use kilometers over here. So I have 8,000. So that basically means 8 kilometers. Okay. So now uh, we, at this point, we basically start filling out this thing over here, right? So... Uh, for this part of the phase diagram, we don't really look at it because both of the um, radio signals have the exact same frequency, so like the exact same period, and uh, both of the waves arrive at the same time. So all of this, you know, is going to add up to zero. This I do have to uh, fill out. Oh, and this is information given by the problem, so I'm just going to go ahead and put it. So A is zero. Uh, B is, again, this is just a problem. If you want to um, go ahead and look at the empty PDF, the link is on the description so you guys can do it. And then I said that I would do B minus A. So B minus A would be this minus this. So it would just be positive over here. Now, what we want is we want the radio signals to not interfere with our GPS. So if we want them to not interfere, essentially what we want is uh, destructive interference. So we want destructive interference. Destructive interference happens at multiples of 2 and plus 1 times pi. So this is the uh, condition for destructive because again the uh, the radio signals are interfering in this case so we actually want them to uh, cancel each other out so this is how you would do it so now um for the oh we also need to set up some sort of like distance so what we're gonna do is we are i just sold the problem that was very similar 
So let's see. So let's just set up a distance that's going to be called x um, from a. And xa is going to be, you know, whatever this distance is. And then xv is going to be whatever the other amount of distance that is. So xa to the right. So xa, I'm going to define it as a distance to the right of our tower A. And then xb is just going to be 8 kilometers minus xa, right? Like this. So like say for example if we are over here at 2 then xa is going to be equal to 2 and then uh, xb is going to be 8 minus 2 so 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that's basically how, how it works. So we're going to be, um, yeah, so that's what's uh, going to be happening. So uh, for the left tower I'm just going to leave it as xa so it's going to be negative 2 pi over lambda, so 8 kilometers distance x a right is going to be negative 2 pi over 8 but x b is just 8 minus x a like this and then the if I do b minus a, which it doesn't matter how you do it, but you have to be consistent all the way through. So if I did b minus a and got a positive number over here, I need to do b minus a over here. So this is negative 2 pi over 8, and then I would do b minus a, so 8 minus xa minus xa, so minus 2xa over here. And this is my number. So I'm going to go ahead and take this equation. And basically what we have to do is find uh, xa, right? Because if we have xa, then we basically have xb and like the problem is done. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to write the entire thing as it is. And we're going to have to simplify 2 pi 8, 8 minus 2 xa plus pi over half. This has to be equal to a multiple of 2, n plus 1, pi. So my pi's go away pretty much like this. And um, so this number, oh yeah, so this 8 cancel out. So this is just basically negative 2 over here. And then <clears throat> two, times, 2 times 2 is 4. Divided by 8, that is equal to um, a half. And then you have minus and minus, so this is equal to 1 half xa. This is just a plus 1 half because we took away the pi. And then this side, there's, n there's not a lot that I can do in this side. So now we have these two guys over here, negative 2 and 1 half. So this would be 1 half xa minus three halves um and then this is equal to this side so we're gonna send this over here so one half x l is equal to two and plus five halves like this because this one becomes positive so then you add it and then you get the five so xl is equal to, you know, you have to pass this to the other side, and it's going to be equal to 4n plus 5. So this is my equation that I have. So all of these values for xl are positive. The only thing that we have to do is figure out uh, which of these infinite, because n is infinite, can be whatever, which of these infinite values of n actually fall within, you know, this, this grid. We need numbers from 0 to 8 because otherwise it still, it still works, but it's not within the scope of like our physical space that they gave us, right? So let's go ahead and substitute. So uh, n is equal to 0 is going to work. 
because if n is equal to zero, then xl is uh, equal to five. So this, this is one final answer. Uh, n is equal to one is not gonna work because that will give us xl is equal to nine and nine is over here. So, I mean, it would work. And if you were to stand over here, then you would be able to use your GPS. However, again, it, this is not a part of the uh, desert. So even though it works, uh, this is not gonna be our final answer. So I actually need, um, and then if I go farther, uh, if I go farther with N, two, three, four, then I'm just gonna get answers more to the right. So I actually need to remember that N can be a negative number uh, in order to move backwards because I, I, I need to check out like this side over here, right? So n equals minus one. So this means minus four plus five is equal to one. And this is the other answer that's gonna work. So this position works and this position works and that's my final answer. So final answer is five. Final answer is one. I can't keep going because if I do negative two, that's gonna be a uh, negative eight plus five is gonna be a negative number. And because we define this distance to the right, negative number means, you know, that you're over here on the left out of the page. So again, the answer is valid. It's just not uh, valid as a final answer within the context of, you know, that we're only interested here. Okay, so now let's look at uh, part B of this, um, you know, practice quiz that we we're doing, which says, at the locations you found in part A, so like over here and over here, can the interference be made constructive by changing the phase constants of the two towers? If yes, which values would uh, do this? Explain. Okay, so I'm gonna... Now I'm going to restart my face diagram, but we're just going to be mindful about what we are changing. So for this part um, over here, these two values are equivalent to each other. So you can just go ahead and pick whichever and, you know, your final answer is going to be good for both of them at the same time. Because again, uh, these two values are um, equivalent in terms of what they're getting from the waves. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, so for part B, I'm just going to select um, XA is equal to 1. So if I were to do this part, then I would get uh, lambda is equal to 8. So if I'm doing B minus 8, then that would be 7. Because if I'm here, then this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, minus 1, that would go over here. Over here, we would have, you know, what we're looking for. And I did B minus A, so I just need to make sure that I'm being super consistent with that. And now, uh, this has to be equal to uh, constructive interference. Is that what they want? Yeah, can the interference be made constructive? So constructive interference uh, is 2n pi. So we're changing from destructive uh, to constructive. So basically we need to figure out which values of this uh, work. So I'm gonna define this delta as b minus a. You always need to be sure to be doing it in the right order. If you're doing this B minus A, this needs to be B minus A. And then uh, this delta, if I uh, send this to the other side, well, first of all, uh, seven minus one is equal to six. Uh, six, uh, so this is 12 divided by eight, so two and pi. Then this is negative, so plus 16 divided by um, 8 and then we do have a pi over here wait no si no this is 6 times 2 this is 12 oh my goodness 12 divided by 8 so this is 2 and pi again 
Uh, just simplify this, you'll see that this is a 6 times 2 is equal to 12, not 16. Um, and then, so this is uh, plus uh, 3 halves, like this. Nice. So basically, yeah, I mean, at this point, these are the ones that work, and you know, maybe this is a final answer. But let's just give a few examples. So let's see. You know, for n is equal to zero, they need to they would need to be separated three halves of pi. For n is equal to one, uh, that would be equal to two pi times times three halves. My goodness. Uh, 2 plus 3 halves, 7 halves, oh yeah, and then I would be adding 4, right, over here, you know, you could also do negative numbers, so this um, would give you what? So if you do negative 1, then you'll get negative 2. Right, so you would get uh, negative 2 plus 3 halves minus 1 half. So you would basically have to uh, just keep going this way. And, uh, you know, eventually you're just going to find all of the values. But like this is like this would be my final answer because this basically uh gives you all of the uh, possible solutions. Again, I define this delta as B minus A. So I'm giving you solutions to B minus A. So some of you maybe decided to do A minus B. And if you decided to do A minus B, then that's fine. You're going to get a different equation because, um, you know, your faces are, are going to be uh, shifted the other way around. But uh, your final answer should still be the same. But again, so this is why I define my as B minus A. If you do A minus B, expect a different answer. Doesn't mean that your answer is wrong. It's just different because you defined your uh, delta to be different than mine, okay? So anyways, I hope that you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please make sure to leave a like. It really helps uh, promote our channel. And I am super thankful every time that you leave a like on my videos. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.